In our last video, we broke the Durofix one inch battery operated impact wrench and that led us down a rabbit hole of pneumatic impact wrenches that we wanted to test out. And that started out with this Ingersoll Rand 2146. This is a three quarter inch drive quiet impact wrench. But the reason it started here is because it has a gauge on the back that lets you know if you are over pressuring it, under pressuring it, not enough volume, all that fun stuff that's here. And this tool here was one of them that we wanted to start with because we have a pretty decent system in the shop. We wanted to see kind of what was gonna happen using this tool. We also pulled out an AirCat one inch. This is not an extended anvil. You'll see later it would have worked a lot better if it was. And then we also went to a one inch Ingersoll Rand Impact kind of just to give you an idea of the power differences between them on the same air. Now we never adjusted this air pressure or anything so it's all the same across the board. I want to show you what happened first and what our air pressure is with this Ingersoll Rand. So let's take a look and also listen because this is supposed to be a quiet model. She's in the red, wasn't she? I, I can't tell. <laughs> So there is absolutely no doubt on the gauge on the back of this tool that we were over pressuring this completely all the way in the red, which really surprised us because we don't have everything set up too crazy. I mean, we have everything regulated to 102 PSI. And then once you hit the tool, should bring some of that pressure down as the hose is quite long, but the right size and diameter hose still over pressuring this particular tool. So long term, that's going to create some damage in here and maybe not make it as quiet. But the quiet part of this tool was actually quite amazing. While it might sound loud on the screen, you really have to consider the differences in this tool and listen for the air gun, not the clanking around of the socket and the anvil and the lug nut. Listen for the tool. Check that out one more time. So that's real interesting because the actual Ingersoll Rand tool is quiet. The whole operation, definitely not quiet, but the tool is, and you'll see in here more of that in a bit. We moved over to the AirCat and you can see we're having a little bit of issue with the extended anvil, uh, but this tool actually rocked it out at 2,100 foot pounds of removal. We got her on three, that's the only setting for removing things, and this thing worked great. Let's take a little bit of a listen to the tool. We can compare it to everything else and see how it did. Now remember, we left all the studs on this dry, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for the lug nuts to be removed. So there is no doubt that the one inch air cat is quite a bit louder when you're listening to it, but at the same point in time, it is a lot faster. There is a significant speed difference between the three quarter inch Ingersoll Rand and the one inch air cat. Now, and I think that's to be expected. Both of them have similar specs though. And that's what's really hard to kind of compare tools when we're looking at pneumatic stuff because you have so many variables in how that air is delivered. And it was really interesting to really look at the 2146 with the gauge and say, yeah, overpressured and probably overpressured here with the air cat. But performance of this was excellent. In the situation that we're in, we could really use the extended anvil, but we made it work and it actually did quick work of a lot of things that we had. Really, really nice tool for the money that they're asking for it. Now, just to compare this a little bit, we have the larger Ingersoll Rand that's uh, in our shop. This is a one inch model. We just wanted to show you on the same air what happens. Now the Ingersoll Rand one inch uses a significant amount of air and in fact you can see dust blowing around from everything in the air that's moving through it. Are we over pressuring it? I don't know and I don't have everything that I need to check that out. If we are, obviously we're creating a little bit more 
durability issues with the tool. But man, I'll tell you, it is interesting to look at these different tools, listen to them as far as the noise, because the one inch Ingersoll Rand is probably the loudest, but also seems to do the work the fastest. So very interesting. And it's a, there's a little bit of a difference between all of them, between dry studs and lubricated studs. You should be lubricating them all the way through and probably should have those wheels and cleaned up a little bit. But we're just trying to do some testing on different things just to see what's gonna happen. All of them tested out great. I guess if you're in the market, it kind of gives you an idea of what you might need or what you might use. The three quarter inch for our use is something that we always got out to put things back on. We used a one inch to take things off, the three quarter to put them back on, and it kind of made sense. But sometimes that doesn't really work out as well in it's just as easy now to use some of the smaller one inch guns that have a side handle and give you a little bit more leverage and a way to get into different areas. And the new smaller one inch Ingersoll Rand really works out well. This Aircat 2 is something that could be useful for us if it had an extended anvil. I know other people are going to say, hey, I would use that without the extended anvil and it would work better. Again, everybody's got their different uses, but on semi truck lugs, it's interesting. This kind of pulled together with the Torque Test Channel's review. They had to kind of mad scientists got together and tried to pull up some more voltage on some impact wrenches. And I can see why it's really difficult for somebody to really get good answers on pneumatics if you were constantly fighting what does the tool need for pressure? How do I know if I'm holding it there? And you could scientifically do it, but man, that would take a ton of work mad respect to those guys who are putting in the work over there on the battery tools and giving you guys some great stuff in the real world here you can kind of see how they worked out in how things work and i think that's another great angle to look at things as always we appreciate your time here please give us a like in this video subscribe to the channel and leave them comments below i'm curious to hear what you're going to think about the three different tools and if you were in that situation of purchasing where you'd go all right guys See you later. Have a great day.